on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, terrific, uh, yeah, 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 the wonderful, yeah, yeah, come on now, yeah, come on now. Miss Jamaica, what's going on? I'm all right, I'm all right. We in a Jamaica in the house, though. Hey, yeah. man, we down there. Where we at right now? In the ATL. Man, this boy, AD boy, show us love every time we come down there, man. Uh-huh. I'm a, I think I'm going to give me a place down there, man. I can't That'd keep coming. Nice. Yeah, 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 I need to get me a place of business down there. You want me to start there. looking? Hey, might as well. You ain't scaring me. Yeah, I'm coming down here and hang out with my boy, man. Amari Cardion is in the building, man. What's going on? You What's up, Amari man? Can Cardion, I come down man. here? For sure, for yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? Can I, y'all gonna give me a pass? You know for who sure. I need to check in with? You niggas got a check in system? You good. You yeah. tied in already <laughs> more time. <laughs> man, I, I just love, I love, the, uh, I love the way the people embrace us here. Make me feel like I'm somebody, man. You know what I'm saying? You are somebody. Oh, I am? Okay. All you're right. My, you're, my, you're my husband. Oh, here we go. Captain. You know, I'm your husband, but the way you saying it is a little sarcasm, man. <laughs> I don't, man, don't play me on the mic like that, man. So, man, what's up with you, man? I've been seeing you, man. You dropped hey, you dropped some music. For sure, for sure. Got Say, a brand new album. Yeah, brand new album, man. Uh, what You know, I, I, it, it, all the songs that you got on there, man, how many videos did you do on that project? I'm doing all of them. That's uh-huh. what I thought. I like that. I like that. I like that's the way you're supposed to do it, man. Sure. I thought people don't do that. They want to pick out like the the hottest. You no, know, we like, do what we want to do. It's a it's a it's a know. digital world, All right. Yeah. Like like how Dow said, independent. It's independent. Like, what I want to do. That's it. <laughs> so let's let's go back and let's talk about the uh, younger you, man. Let's get into just like what side of town you came up on in ATL, and just just give us a little spill on on just the whole whole gamut of of, of who my boy is, Amari Cardion is. I'm from Clay County, the South Side, Flint River. Is that? Yeah, that where I'm from, Clay yeah, County. Yeah, but, yeah, but but being I mean. from Clay County, where would you go to elementary school at? Yeah, Lee Street. Oh elementary, yeah, yeah. Them boys wasn't and them boys playing football over there. Uh, uh, flag football. They throwing the milk carton up. How they playing that ball over there when you was a little kid? Really, you know, elementary. They ain't playing middle school. I went to Monday's Mill Middle. Yeah, and that was <laughs> crazy. Football was crazy. Do you did you like it? Oh yeah, I liked it until. You know how you scream. The streets be calling though. Yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what? Uh, uh, what's the difference in growing up over there versus a, uh, say, uh, Decatur or, 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 or McDonald? Or what's the difference in growing up on your side of town or, or Bowen Homes? It really, it like depends on the area you is, and they're really the same in a lot of different areas. Like Bowen Home, where I'm from, you could, you would compare Bowen Homes to where I'm from. Okay, okay, for sure. Okay, who did any outside of yourself? Any uh, other reputable uh, uh, right. artists come from out of your area? I mean, from the county I'm from, but not exactly my area. Okay. Okay. Who, who, who came, came from that from county? county? Walker Flocker, the Red, the Shine. Oh, they all from the same area. Yeah, we all from the same area. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, and did you see them growing up, or, or for sure, for sure, yeah. You used to see them in the hood. Yeah, for sure, especially the Red. You would see him. Yeah, all the time. So y'all were friends back then? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is he older than you or younger than you? Older. He older than you? For sure. Did, what, uh, how many years? Did y'all go to school together or no? No, no, no. We just from the same area. Just the same area. He's seen you, you've seen him. Yeah. That's dope, man. You know, uh, it's like a circle down here, huh? For sure. It ain't, it's like a big circle? Like right. you go, you run into the same people over and over again, over huh? Over and over. You can't even hide in another because somebody going to know you that know me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So so, let's talk about the album a little bit. No, I, I want to get into the backstory a little you, bit Hey, more. man, it's your thing, man. I'm just, hey, I'm just here. You're so <laughs> I want to know how you were raised. You were raised with your mom and your dad, your um, siblings? Yeah, not in the same house, but both were there for me. Oh, they were for yeah. you? So you still had that influence in your life? For sure. Okay, tell me something that your father um, instilled in you from a young age that you think you carried with you all the way up to. You got to take care of your family no matter what. That's the only way you're going to be blessed. And um, your mom? She just a hustler. <laughs> she just a hustler. She taught me how to hustle. Never give up. You got to have something. Okay, that's good. Sure. 
That's good that that came from the lady and not the the daddy, because normally something like that normally comes from the dad. Oh no, no, mom was like the dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I like that. So, um, siblings. Oh, um, I got three brothers and two sisters. Are you the oldest, youngest, middle? Next to the youngest. Next to the youngest. Okay, yeah. so you had a couple in front of you. Yeah. So, did you look up to them? Were they? Are any of the rest of them in in the music industry? Nah. Just you. Just me. So where did it come from? I don't know. It just I get I just love music all my life. And your mom and dad, did they love music? Yeah, my dad for sure. Your dad? He used yeah. to always play that music going down the street. He used to tell me little stories like he used to be winning the talent shows and stuff like really? that. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So sure. Okay. So who did you look up to as a kid growing up? Probably my brothers. Really? Yeah. So how old were you when you first decided that you wanted to do music and why? Because I'm sure mm-hmm. that wasn't your first love, right? Because, you know, kids, when they grow up, I want to be a fireman. I want to be a Nah, that was my first love. Like, really? Christmas, I ain't asked for, like, toys and stuff. All I ever wanted was a karaoke machine. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I always got karaoke machines every Christmas. Mm. The newest one to come out, I get it. Mm. That's cool. Sure. And how old were you? Probably about 10 or 11. 10 or 11. So when did you start taking it serious? How old were you? Mm, probably about, about 15, 16. And what made you take it serious? Somebody came to you and said, man, that, that song went hard. You should really do it. Or you just decided to do it? No, I actually, one of my mutual friends was making beats. Mm-hmm. And so... While he was making beats and stuff, we was meeting more people in the game. And that just motivated me to want to do it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I already knew I could do it, but I never wanted to take it serious because, you know, we didn't think nobody was really going to listen. Mm-hmm. And then once we started getting people to listen and recognize who we are, then I was like, oh, yeah, I got to do this. They, they looking at me like a rapper now. <laughs> So how did it sure. feel the first time you recorded something and you actually hear it played back? Because it's different when you actually do and you're recording, but when you hear all the music behind it and everything and it sound, you know, well, how, how did you feel? Explain that feeling. I really always just being humble. So I've been recording on the karaoke machine. You know how you get the tapes mm-hmm. and you put the tissue in the bottom of it and you can match, <laughs> you can record on it. So I've been doing that like, for years before uh-huh. I even went to a studio. So I already kind of knew how to record. All right. So when I did my first one in the studio, it just was like, I'm not on no tape no more. I'm recording it on the computer. But is the, isn't it different when it's professional and they put all of everything, all the effects behind it compared to when you at home? Or you was that good where you were still doing something from home? Yeah, really, because we young, so it didn't it wasn't gonna sound good either right. way it go when i recorded at the studio or mm-hmm. recorded on the i actually used to think the tape sounded better <laughs> than going to the studio because we didn't know what we was doing right right but what's then, the first song you did professionally uh mm-hmm. it was a song called shot it hold me down mm. so how did it do um it actually did good i was in school it was a girl song, like all the girls loved it. I used to perform it for the school, like little school party. Everybody used to come see the performance because they loved the song. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it was pretty good. And yeah. you wrote it because a girl that you um, knew? Nah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a, nice, a of, nice way to look yeah, at it. Yeah, you, yeah. That, you, because when no, females know you, because hold on, you know because like when a female know an artist or whatever, especially if they was talking to you or, you know, cool with you or whatever, and you make a song about a female, the first thing they're going to say, is that about me? Yeah, I was just about to say that. Is that I, about me? I got a couple of girls think I wrote that song about you. <laughs> hey, man, nothing that, wrong with that. So um, let me ask you something, bro. Uh, on, on the song, uh, when, when, when you wrote, uh, say, Gunline, mm-hmm. Um, what was the process of that? I see the video just dropped. Yeah. Actually, I freestyle majority of my music, so, and I actually don't listen to beats before I go to the studio. Really? So when I get in the studio, I listen to the beat and how it make me feel, what kind of vibe. I listen to the beat for so long until I start hearing words from it. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I make the record. Wow. Yeah, that's dope. 
And um, so um, when you when you first dropped this album, what did you expect to uh, accomplish in, in dropping this album? Really, to take off. Mm -hmm. how, how do you like the way it's moving so far? Oh, yeah, it's moving great. Mm -hmm. Great, mm -hmm. better than ever. What, what's, the, what's the difference in this one and in, in, in previous ones? I did it all professionally this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, like, last time it was ragged, it was rugged. Like, yeah, last Street. time it was me and a team we ain't did no mastering. Oh, okay. No, none of that. that this is. time I did the full process to it. Mm -hmm. what, what, yeah. what What was the difference in, in this time and last time for us to do the process, the full processes versus doing it the way that you would normally do it? Other than the budget? Yeah. Well, even the budget, I want to explain, I, wanna, I want the people to know what it mm -hmm. takes and the differences. So, what was it that I had the light on me? Like, like I had get, start gaining a lot of momentum from "Don't Play with Him" record. So now I feel like okay, now these people is watching me. Now I gotta come professional every time. Can't let them down. So that's why I did it. Okay. Okay. How much does it cost? Um, um, how's it financial compared to when you didn't get it mastered? Compared to all everything that you did right now. A lot more. Crazy. Like um, double, triple more? Yeah, way more. <laughs> like, way more. But it's worth it, right? Yes. What? Yeah, because now when they listen to the music, they be like, oh, he sound different. He sound way better, yeah. But really, they just didn't know. Like half of them songs that they heard was old. I just mm -hmm. got them mastered the correct way. So right. they sounding great. It's totally different. Yeah, different. But okay, so a lot of times when when you finish with a project, are you still concentrating on just promoting that project and doing everything for that project, or are you an artist where you're like, okay, on to the next one? I'm ready to start doing something else. No, you got to promote. Hmm. Yeah, you got to. For promote. how long though? Because everybody is different. So how long do you promote for? Like hard, hard promo. At least give it a good six months mm -hmm. three to six months and then if it gain when you see the three when you start seeing the momentum of it if you see it going up you go going down then you know to keep going mm -hmm. you got to drop something else if you see it's rising as you're going you stick with it but if you see it decreasing that's when you know you got to drop another project okay Wow. So what's the name of the project? Is it Timeless? Or? Yeah, Timeless. That's what I thought. Timeless. Yeah. Um, so um, what, what, why, why did why timeless? Cause I I been working forever, you know. I never, you know. Oh, I gotta do it this time. No, it's timeless, right? Here we gonna go. This is my dream. You feel? Me? I'm making timeless music. You gonna be able to listen to it forever. How many forever. songs was on? Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Um, how many collabs? How many features? Four. Four features. Who 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 did you feature on those? Um, the Oracle, um, C White, two Chinese artists. Um, Ace Boom Coon, who made Smell Like That Fruity with um, okay. Rick Ross and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I got um, my artist, Showtime Timo. Okay. And, then, and and that's dope, man. So um, did you feel like it was important to make sure that you didn't do too many features when you did it? Or, or were you careful about that or you just did it how it came? Really, I just, right now, I just been keeping it on the South Side. Like, them artists that I did, myself for the Oracle, everybody from the South Side. Mm -hmm. So okay. I just been keeping it around us, you know what I mean? Doing it for the South Side, for right now. Yeah, that's dope, man. I like it. Um, I, I think it's it's good to, to start off right in your neighborhood. Uh, and the reason why, because once you build that up, then you can go and, you know, people, you start getting your uh, leverage on that. Who, who, um, uh, as far as what city would you like to hit in to try to get get it in the other places? Is there any specific marketing, marketing play area that you'd like to try to hit? I'm trying to hit it all along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it ain't no certain. I'm trying to go everywhere where I'm welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And so, where's the songs that you have on your um, album? Do you have one that cover each category? Like you have your dance song, you have your, your vibe song, you have your- For sure, well balanced. Like if you listen to my album, well balanced. Tell right? me the categories that you if have. you want. I got pain, I got, I got pain, I got dance, I got vibe, I got love, you know what I mean? 
Like, ain't no category that I didn't. Like, if you listen to and you love rap music, if you want to hear some pain, I got you. If you want some happy, I got you. Like, listen to the album. That's why I named it Timeless, because I got every category. Hmm. Mm, that's, what, that's what's up. That'll work. Um, you know, the thing we have to keep in mind is, man, that, hey, we got to make this thing pop, man, like, like, like never before. But the thing you got to keep in mind, man, is that... That talent, man, is something else, man. It's on a whole nother level, man, out here. Um, you know, um, the strip club scene, I got to ask you about that. You, you're a young bull. So what's, what's going on in the strip club scene? Like, is, is, it, is, it, uh, is, is, is what's the new spot down here? Yeah, Allure. Everybody on Oh, they at that Allure now. Yeah, is that, Allure. That's popping. For sure. Is that the, that's the newest one? No, nah, they got that. They don't reopen up. Uh, I think QCM opened up a script club. Really? Ain't it? They reopened up, ain't it? Really? Is it, is it dope inside? Or have you been in it? Oh, yeah. Crazy. You know? It is? It's crazy, for sure. Man, that, that, that's what I'm talking about, man. We, we, hey, we gotta, hey, listen, man, we, we gotta support our, our, our local uh, celebrities. You know what I'm talking about? For sure. <laughs> for sure. So, um, when you think about uh, music, you think about what happened here just here recently with a uh, young Dolph. Uh, um, what um, what did you think about that when you first heard the young Dolph had, had been a uh, a kill? Like, dang, just feel the bad for his kids, you know. When yeah, like, dang, yeah. kids don't got, I lost the dad. A lot of people depending on Dolph with his record label and all that, but with him being independent. Mm-hmm. So I know a lot of people hurt from that. Yeah. So you you soon as soon as you heard about it, you like man that's got that 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 hurts for sure, especially for them kids. You know what I mean? They posted out them video. Yeah, you know, they keep showing it with his kids and all that. That way ate me up the most because you know when you in these streets, you in these streets. They don't show that part like before. He, they didn't show that at first. Nah. If you really go back and think about it, you didn't see those pictures popping out like that. Sure. Or they was there and nobody paid attention they to. No attention. But now those become the most important pictures, and that became that was the most touching picture when you seen him. Even when Mo three uh, uh, was killed, his pictures came out with his three kids. Those pictures yeah. touched; they hit different. For, for sure. Because now you realize this is a human being here. This is somebody who had a family. He like me. He had kids. Uh, and, and you know that's that's crazy, man. Uh, uh, it's a cloud. Like I say, it's 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 very much a cloud over the rappers, man. You hear about all the different rappers just getting killed out here. Do does it make you think differently about this about the craft or, or what does it make you feel? No. Because no, you got no. like King Bun, all these different people that done passed on. But you man. gotta think about like it was cause you're a rapper, you know what I mean? That that could have happened if you wasn't no rapper, like if you were in the streets. They just somebody who had light on them that was in the street that got caught slipping. Imagine how many people that don't nobody know they get killed every day. Every day somebody gets killed. You see what I'm saying? So they making a big deal out of it because they got a they got a light on them, or they famous or celebrity or something like that. They are making it different, but they couldn't have been no celebrity they in the street thugging. You know what come with thugging? Dead or in jail. Some people make it out. You know what I mean? Get lucky and make it out. I think they. I mean, and, and when you look at it, man, I, I hate to see. I hate to see these these young boys getting you know took out like that. You know, especially sure. like I said, rappers because you're right. It's illuminating light on them, so it's hard to get around that, man. It's hard to get around. And, you know, it, it's just tough. Um, you know, did, did you even listen to Dolph music? Or yeah, for sure. You rocked sure, out with yeah, the paper yeah, out. Listen to Dolph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was it was heavy. He was heavy in the streets. He was independent. Um, there's a lot of, I heard everything that he was going to buy Empire. I hear all kind of stuff, bro. You know, at the end of the day, once somebody passed away, people start just, you know, saying, saying whatever, man. For sure. Whatever they can say to keep the story popping, I guess. I don't know, man. But I just know you, we, some of the stuff you, you don't see coming. You know what I mean? Um, what, uh, what's the next step for us for this project that you got out timeless? Videos, really. So how many videos done so far? I seen the one. Two. It's two of them. The one that uh, you did two weeks ago that you dropped. Yeah. My voice. Yeah. Uh, how was how was my voice? What what was the process with that one? Mm, really, like I said, I just freestyled. So like you see the video, I caught a nice gutter looking spot in it for the video. Shot it. You know. Who I mean? shot the video? Um, Dead Fly. Dead Fly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
How long they they, they shot videos for you before? The um, the one that, that just came out as yeah, well. That was the first so one. So you did okay. Yeah. So so you you like working with those guys? Oh yeah, he dope. Like he worked with Stunner for very good. Like um, Polo G, he worked with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And 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 so who who who's the uh, who who is that guy out here that 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 you see in their videos everywhere and everybody trying to get there? Like we got a, a half pint films in Dallas, or we got different people that we use. Who is that guy? Is it is, is it him or is there a couple of them or? It's a couple of them. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of them down here. It's a lot of work, huh? Yeah, it's a lot of them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, do you um, what's your what, what what's your thing, man? For do, are, do you having kids? Yeah, my little girl. Little girl. Yeah. How how's that how's that going, man? You know, you got to get into that family thing. Oh, I already was family oriented. You know, my family family like you go to my mom's house, all the kids there, everybody. Cousins and everything, and she cooking today, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, she cooking today. Like you go to my mama's house, you ain't gonna see no. You might see a cousin. It might be a cousin, but they gonna call her uh, auntie. But it might be her cousin. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see where any of your kids might be following in your footsteps to in the music, uh, music industry? Yeah, my little girl, she loved the camera, like. She loved the camera. She want to be on the camera all day. She just want to play with the camera. Mm -hmm. She get her tablet and she make her little TikToks. And she only she just turned three yesterday. Mm -hmm. Hey, happy birthday! What's her name? Amari. Amari. That's okay. That's yeah. a beautiful name. Appreciate it, man. So, um, I, I I think I think when you think about the Atlanta scene, man, the competition, man, the the, uh, the oversaturated. There's so many artists, man. How do you get around that to be seen? How do you get how do you get that voice out there to be seen in this in the city like that? Consistency. Consistent. I agree with that. I can see that. Yeah. You would have to be very consistent and professional. For sure. With with your platform, with the with the with the music that you decide to put out, you have to you have to bring it. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. Um so in your in your city, like like what what's the uh most uh crazy thing to happen where somebody came to you about your music? The craziest, like good or bad? Good, good. good. Mm. Oh, the Don't Play With Him record. I had Future, Casino, Till, all them folk listening to my record. Really? So, How did that make you feel? Oh, it felt great. I just feel like, oh, okay. How did you know they were listening to it? I was getting phone calls, you know what I mean? Like, hey, Future love this record. Keep pushing it. Look. I'm gonna call you. I might get a FaceTime casino. Might rap the whole song to me. Like, wow! I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, right? sure. You know, you hit it. You know, you did something then. For sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you look at a way to to prop up the brand outside of just the music, what what else is there? Like clothes, merch, anything you got? Oh yeah, clothes, money calling gear. I had got the don't play with him gear. Okay, all that like. I gave y'all a shirt last time. Yeah. Though, no. no. No, hell no. Nah. I didn't get yeah, it. Don't bring that no. up on here like that, man. And then you ain't gave us no shirt. Look how you look at I you. gave y'all a shirt last time. And then, 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 no, you didn't give us no shirt. I think we got some shirts in the car. Nothing. I got you. I got you. No, I thought we, we got shirt. no shirt. We got shirts in the car. We got shirts in the car. I'm just trying to leave you. I gave you a shirt last time. We ain't, I'm trying to. got nothing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Just say, Steph, tell me, no. No. I got you all the shirts. Thank you, man. We got out of here for sure. Man, you know what, man? We love to take the shirts back and wear them. We got to wear these shirts on the show. I still got the shout shirts. I still got. Uh, HB we shirts. We got so we gonna do a whole appreciation guest week. appreciation week. And we doing a whole week. Everybody's merch and let's wear them different. Days. That's right, and it's coming soon too. For top of the year, know. more than likely. So yeah, you better get us the shirt. That you gonna get left out. No, we got the shirts in the car. <laughs> so so um, man, uh, do you think that um, with everything that's going on in the music industry, man, what's the what what what's the best way to approach? Uh, um, a deal? Do you think you pose to sign a deal now? Stay independent. What's the what's what do you think? I think it depends on your situation. Okay. If it's gonna better you to sign a deal, sign a deal. If you already hot and you don't need to be better, stay independent. Okay. Okay. So that's how I look at it. Like 
if a deal come my way and I know and I know it gonna help me get really get to the top, I might take that. But if it's just something that okay, yeah, hopes and dreams, I ain't gonna take that. You ain't gonna take it. I sure. get it, man. So if you could go back and advise your younger you of um, what to expect with the future that's ahead, how would you do so? You got to mind your business and just work. As soon as you get in somebody else's business, that's when it's going to go down for you. Because mm-hmm. they probably become yours. So you just got to work. You just got to stay to yourself and work. That takes a lot of energy when other people's problem becomes yours. I'm telling and you. For sure. It tripped me on how NBA young boy just, bam, just anytime you put something out, really market it or not, it just go crazy. They grinded for that, though. At first, it wasn't like that. No, it wasn't like that at first. How long did it take to get to that point? But you see how you working like two, three years. They had a bag, though. You see what I'm saying? They had a bag and they had a team that felt like, okay, he great. And they went all for it. You see how they went with him? Yeah, went yeah, crazy. yeah. So he at home now. He on house arrest. He can't. He can't really go nowhere. But at least he out, huh? That let you know that bag. You see that? <laughs> he coming home. For that home. You can't hold that nigga too long. Oh, you <laughs> can't hold it. So you know that that bag that over bag there gonna bring him to the house, man. Gonna bring him to the house. Straight to the playing. house, man. What's the top three artists of all time? Did a lot. Any genre. Any genre. Got to know number one, Jay Z. Okay. Jay Z, number one. Ti. Tip number two. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, number three. For sure. Mike, you made it, nigga. You didn't. You, you barely didn't, you made it. Yeah, you didn't do Billie Jean enough, nigga. You didn't. <laughs> your zippers on your jacket wasn't zipped all the way up, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to Michael Jackson, man, and the guys that you named, man. Tip, though. Tip Tip don't get a lot of cameos on the. On no. the yeah, yeah. Like, and that boy rapped hard, too, so you right. I, he supposed to be in that thing. But you know, we had to get one tip. We in the ATL. What you expect? Hey, no, but hey, man, the boy can rap. He got something going. He ain't going to ain't gonna play with it. You know? <laughs> what? He ain't made crazy money with the music. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he, right. he, he a good business man. Right. Ain't too many business. artists in Atlanta can say they did what T.I. did. Uh, explain mm-hmm. that a little bit. Like, for a long time, like, ain't nobody make more money than Tilt. Out the music from especially not from Georgia. Nobody. You like if you think about it, just like musically, not other investment. Musically. Just think about it. There ain't too many people start making more money than tip off the music. Still to this day. Man, and the crazy part about it is um you recognize that. You can look at all the people. That's a lot of the coming from you and you being down here, that, that says a whole lot. For sure. Because at the end of the day, you done seen everybody come through. And then you're like, dang, but Tip making that money. And you could tell he got that bag. Sure. And the whole damn family hustling and all that stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Sure. Filming all. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, man, hey, man, um, how can people get a hold to you? You can follow me on all the social media at I M A R I C A R T I O N E. I'm Mark Cardion on all the Social media platform. Okay, cool, man. Hey, man, we love you, big brother. Is is there anything else you want to try to talk about before we get off here? Anything you want to shout out? Anybody want to say what's up? What's up with it too? I just want to tell everybody who's trying to run out with this swag, who who is the real Mr. Put That Shit On every day. I see all these people coming out with trying to say Mr. Put That Shit On. Y'all know where y'all get that influence from. So stop running out with it. Bring that shit back. You know what I mean? Bring that shit back. I'm the real Mr. Put That Shit On every day. You know what I mean? Yeah, come on back. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. Running out with this song. Nah, I need my light. Oh, really, yeah, man? For sure. Nigga, the bitch is tired. Hey, man, you're man. doing something right, too. For sure. Man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Oh, yeah.